First come the earth, you got to take care of it. Then come the people, then each his fair share of it. Design for the earth that you design for yourself. Help design a world better for you and everybody else. Hi, my name is Heiko. In the next few minutes, I want to introduce you to the wonderful world of nut trees. I'm walking through an abandoned orchard in Eugene, Oregon. We have lots of these spread all throughout the city. They are remainders from the day when there were orchards everywhere in places that have now turned into neighborhoods. So when I see an orchard like this, I get very excited. And I'll, let me tell you why. Nut trees are much more than so many other food crops. Nut trees, most nut trees produce nuts that are very high in calories, fat, and protein. This nut right here, the hazelnut in the shell, is a meal unto itself. It's an easy to crack nut, and you can even roast it after you crack the nut, and then it makes a very delightful treat. You are looking at the catkins of a hazelnut. These are flowers that are beginning to bloom. They bloom in the middle of winter here in this climate. This is an example of how tough the hazelnut is. They're able to bloom in temperatures as low as 10 degrees Fahrenheit and still be successful in pollinating and producing nuts. Hazelnuts are extremely tough, versatile trees that have been harvested by humans both in the wild and under cultivation for thousands of years. Another advantage that hazelnuts have is that they produce the nuts early in the season. So if you're living in a place where there's not much heat in the summer, where the summers are very short, or the whole growing season is short, you can still get a good crop off of these nuts. The trees are also extremely drought tolerant and can take a lot of different soil types. So all in all, this is a fabulous nut tree to consider for your design. I'm sitting in front of a 70 foot chestnut tree on a street corner in Eugene, Oregon. This tree drops spiny husks in the fall. Inside these husks, you'll find abundant, delicious nuts that look like this. These nuts can be baked and eaten. You can also mill the nuts into a flour and use them as a bread replacement. Chestnut trees are tough, they're big, they're very versatile. There are, uh, have been problems with uh, disease and American chestnut trees, but there's varieties of chestnut trees that have been bred from European, Chinese, and Japanese chestnuts that are disease resistant that we can do today. Not only do these trees produce abundant crops of nuts, but they're also doing everything else a tree should do. They are providing habitat, they are fixing carbon, they are moderating the climate in the city, and they're offering shade. So when you plant nut trees, not only do you get the nuts, but you can have your forest and you can eat it too. Behind me is a walnut tree. Like hazelnuts, walnuts are highly nutritious. Every nut is high in calories and contains fat and protein. You might say, well, I don't want to eat a fatty nut. I'm trying to lose weight. Um, this may be true if you consider the number of people on the planet who are starving, the amount of food insecurity we have in this country. Growing more nut trees can be a great boon to help us feed people. If you look up at the size of this tree, it's probably 50 feet wide, 50 feet tall. You can imagine the amount of surface area that can bear productive nuts. We can get hundreds of pounds of highly nutritious nuts out of this tree. And if we can get our cities and our landscapes filled with more nut trees, we can add greatly to our food security.